Hello, my kaho. Welcome back to Halau Napua Halakuno Ikekai. It's June, <laughs> guys. This is just blowing my mind. I woke up this morning and oh my gosh, it's June 1st. I don't know about you folks, but that is just crazy. This year is just crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, it is a new month which means a brand new hula that we're going to be sharing on Tuesdays. We like to kind of chunk it by month so that, you know, if you, you know, miss a week or two, the first week of the month is always a great month or week, I should say, to join back in because we'll be starting from fresh, maybe taking it a little bit easy. That last week of the month sometimes get a little hectic because we're cramming it all in. So thanks for sticking with us through May. In May, we... um celebrated brother is remember it was his birthday on may 20th so we did hey hawaii yo and wind beneath my wings white sandy beach Kupu on the iho so many great songs on our tuesday and saturday classes excuse me i'm gonna cough <coughs> sorry <coughs> that's live for you anyways this month we have a new melee for you and i'm not even going to tell you what it is until um, we fully get started, but we're so thankful that you're here with us and ready to start Hula. So I think it's time. my welcome back uh, this is our tuesday night hula class so for us here in um Nu'uanu valley on the island of oahu it is 504 a little after 5 p.m so here in hawaii it's 5 p.m this is sort of the normal time we would do our ladies class but i know for some of you folks out there it is very very late or very very early so i want to make sure to say aloha to a few of you beverly in kelowna um DC, nice to see you. Patricia, it was so awesome of you to bring your whole gang to the Ipu uh, class on Monday. And so that was that just yesterday? Oh my gosh. Wow. It, what a couple of days it's been. Uh, Manahula Circle in Japan. Aloha no. Barbara in Kailua Kona, right here in the Hawaiian Islands. Aloha to you. Michelle Vaughn in Louisiana. It was so nice to have you also. Computer wants to be plugged in. Sharon joining us from Halavahale. Yoshiko joining us. Aloha no. Let's see. Oh, Ozra. Is that Ashra? Ozra. I have to learn how to say all of these names. From Taiwan. Aloha. Velina Miki Aloha. Kanoi joining us from Massachusetts. Yvonne joining us. Uh, oh, I'm glad you like the Mu'u. It is very summery. It's a Mamo from the Mu'u Mu'u Library. Adrian from Florida, aloha. Genesis from Denver, Colorado. Can you believe it? We're in June. I'm excited for a brand new start. Also, Akemi, aloha. Nice to see you. Joining us from Japan, another friend in Japan. Tam in Virginia, I saw your request. I'm going to have to save it for another month, but I promise I'll get to it. Ivy, aloha. Joining us from um, Korea. Cindy from California. Wendy from hot and humid St. Louis Heights, right around the corner here. Mi Suk An from Korea. Aloha no. Laura from Mexico City. Patricia also from Massachusetts. Cyan from Aiea. Yoshiko. Oh, yes, that's right. Yoshiko is in Guam. So perfect time for hula. Linda in Pennsylvania and Sandy. Also nice to see you in Guanajuato. Did I say that right? Leon Guanajuato. Anyways, you got you folks let me know. I gotta come visit you all because I don't know how to say your name of your homes and all this stuff. But anyways, it's great to have so many of you joining us. Thank you for sharing this video invitation with your friends because I see we have some new friends joining us for Hula today. So it's awesome to see our numbers growing. Thank you so much. All right. 
So the way that our Tuesday classes go is a little bit different from Saturdays. So I just want to kind of tell you uh, the difference between the two. Tuesday classes, we will be focusing on a little bit of basics. Um, and then we're going to jump into a new song. But on Saturdays, um, we do cover things like prayers and chants. And we work with the ipu a little bit. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more of those sorts of things, definitely come check us out today and then also on Saturday because that class is a little bit different. So if you like that. Um, a few of us had the chance to get together just yesterday, although it seems like a week ago, um, for a class that I called Ilea Kahula Ikahoopa. So I wanted to show you how much fun we had. Check this out. Now, that is not even everybody. I couldn't fit everybody on the same page. There were um, about 35 students that joined from literally all over the world. So, of course, we were here in Hawaii. Um, we had friends from Texas, Switzerland, Florida, England, Canada, Ukraine, Louisiana, Virginia, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, California, Mexico, Washington. Um, Japan was in there, and I think I forgot a bunch of places. I know I mixed up my states and my countries, but let me just tell you, it was pretty awesome to get to work with Ipu and Ipu players from all over the globe. So that was a really cool experience. I hope that you folks loved it as much as I did. I was so pumped, and then I immediately had to take a nap because... <laughs> We had to wake up at 6 a.m. to teach that class, and that is pretty early for me on a Monday holiday. So we got to take a nap and recover from all of that, but we are ready to hit it again. So maybe we'll do it again, um, maybe in a different time period, because I know there are a lot of people who are interested in taking the Ipu class, and 6 a.m. Hawaii time was not a good time, especially my friends in Japan and Taiwan and Korea. I'm so sorry. I know that was, like, the worst possible time. Anyways, let's jump into our mele for this week. So for the entire month of June, we'll be covering this mele, and there are five verses, five weeks, five Tuesdays in June. So we'll cover one verse per week. The mele that I've chosen, um, I actually chose it for a specific reason. I'm putting together a show. Get excited. It'll be kind of like May Day, but in July... <laughs> Um, I'm putting together a show, and uh, my theme has to do all with um, kahakai, the ocean, ocean animals. Like the keikis are going to do some ocean animal hula, and um, it is what we would have um, performed at Kapiolani Park Bandstand. Um, and down at Kapiolani Park Bandstand, there's a big stage, and they have a hula festival. That's called the Na Hula Festival. And we were actually invited to perform this year. However, because of COVID, they're going totally virtual, which is no problem for us, right? Because that means that you can join in. So I have created a brand new show that's going to be aired on the Nahula Festival, um, whatever law, um, in July. And so in the month of June, I want to teach you one of the songs that you can join in with us. So. This one actually doesn't have a kahakai or ocean theme, but it honors the, it, the very place where the Nahula Festival takes place, which is dun, 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 Maki Ailana. Maki Ailana is the old name for that area where Kapi'olani Park is because Kapi'olani Park actually used to be a swampy sort of marsh it was a wetland area and they would grow taro and all kinds of things would grow in that area and it was very marshy you know is that a word <laughs> it was wet super wet hot and humid um but there was a little island in the middle of the marsh and that island was owned um by uh captain mckee mckee yep it was actually M-C-K-E-E, -E, but his Hawaiian name was Maki, like this, Maki. So Maki Ailana means Maki Island. And so this place was a great place to get together with friends, with lovers, um, for a little tryst to get together and, um, yeah, just have a little fun. So Maki Ailana, we're going to learn all about that um, 
someone had made the comment before, I wish I knew how the song went before we actually got into learning the whole thing. So today, we're going to try this. You can tell me if you love it, you hate it. I don't know. I, I don't have to do this every time. But I figured I would give you a little taste of how this song goes before we start learning it. You might already have heard it. Okay? So here we go. Give it a try. Yeah, we'll try. You tell me when you're ready. You ready? Okay. Monkey. Monkey, I love you. number one and it talks of course about the island the island of maki and say how beloved this land is and aina of course means land ehu ehu is the spray of the sea so you can imagine that it's very humid there and you can just kind of smell the salty air maybe the limu that is proliferating out there um in the kai okay okay let's take a look at verse number two Elua e koluno ma ko this was a place for people to gather so it says elua ekolu there were a number of couples gathered there a, a small gathering probably less than 10 under the covid restriction numbers yeah uh and at that island it was very ma hie hie just calm and charming really just a lovely place to gather okay that's verse number two here's verse number three Kale What's those chords? I love it when the Hawaiians would write these songs and they would give human characteristics to nature. So it says, Kaleo o Kavai. They don't just say, oh, I. I heard the crash of the waves. I heard the voice of the water. Ka'u aloha. It is a thing that I so love and desire. Ika i mai. It's kind of, um, i is almost like olelo. So it's speaking, it's saying, but it's kind of a pointed. It's like sending me a message. Ika i mai. Heanu ka'ua. You know when you go on a date and the girl goes, oh, I'm so cold. And the boy goes, oh, I'll give you my jacket. And she says, Oh, no, you don't have to. And he says, oh, yeah, I'll give it to you. And she goes, okay. And then she snuggle up close. That's what this verse is saying. Verse 4. folks that have been dancing hula a long time you might recognize those last two words which are noho pai pai noho can mean to live and noho can also mean to sit now the noho pai pai is the oh you cannot see it the rocking that it's not time that noho pai pai the noho pai pai is the noho that pai pai so it's the rocking chair so Anytime you see noho pai pai in a song, you know it's a love song. Because we're not talking about grandma in the rocking chair. We're talking about a different type of rocking. And that's why we have to do this song on Tuesdays, not on Ohana Hula Saturdays. 
okay? That's all you really need to know about this one. It just says, if you were here with me, you would sit on a rocking chair. I don't think there were any rocking chairs on this island, but <laughs> something. Okay, let's take it home. Here we go. Hey, I should have had you sing along with me. Sing along this last time. Okay, that's it. Let's go. We'll go home. We're done. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. This is hula class, yeah? Hula class. That's right. That's right. We're supposed to be doing hula class. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways, that's the whole song. I figured I'd give you a taste of where we're going with this rocking hula. Um, it's a pretty, pretty, very gentle sounding song, but there's a little bit of um, a spark, shall we say, that's hidden in the kauna or the poetry of this mele. So let me know what you think about singing the song first and then learn the hula later. Or you tell me, forget it. We're sick of hearing you hear this. Okay, sing the song because we have to listen to you sing it when we hula. Anyways, you let me know. You let me know. Okay, so we're going to do the basic feet work first for the first verse. Then we're going to learn the first verse. And then if we're pow early, then we're pow early. It's maybe we'll be pawhana early. Maybe we'll be late. Who knows? Okay. So the first basic feet work that you're going to need is called the kaholo. Of course, the kaholo is the most basic step in the hula, and it is made up of four counts. You're going to move towards the right. I am mirroring you, so this is the right for you. And then we're going to go to the left. So you're going to take four steps with the feet to the right. Step together, step tap that's the four counts and then you're going to reverse it go to the left step together step tap now the style of hula that i was taught is very 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 flat footed so i'm going to show it to you in this view first and then i'm going to um, let you see the vavai cam so you can see just how flat it is so hands on the waist to start feet slightly apart and you're going to bend your knees we're going to start to the right ready go kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Check that mu'u mu'u. Look at that scallop tem, right? Okay, step together, step top. Kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Very good. Okay, I'm going to show you the vavai cam now so that you can see the detail of the mu'u. I mean, just kidding. <laughs> the steps. Okay, bend your knees down and we're going to take four steps to the right. Ready, go. Holo to the right. Very flat. Holo to the left again. Holo to the right and holo to the left. Now, Uncle Kimo Alama Keolana, um, one of my kumo, always wanted to stress that the first step and the second, or I guess the third, that's technically the third, should be about the same size, right? So you don't want to have a little one and a big one. Yeah, make sure that they're evenly spaced. So yours don't have to be the same size as mine. They just have to be the same size as yours, you know? Okay, bend your knees. Ready, set, kaholo, go to the right, two, three, and to the left, two, three, and to the right, two, three, and left, two, three, and the right, two, three, and left. Very good. Now, I just want to show you what it would look like if I were doing a style with lifted heels. So I'm going to turn at the angle just a little bit so that you can see this. And I'm going to show you a different style of kaholo. So it could be this. Check that heel. 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 Together. Heel. Heel. Even the together could be even a top like this. Heel. Heel. Heel together heel it's really hard for me to do this because this is not the style that i was taught 
Okay, so that's a different style of the kaholo, and it's not wrong if that's the style that you were taught. Um, that's totally fine. You should do the kaholo the way that you were taught, but if you would like to try to learn our style, which is passed down from all the way back, Ilalo Ole style, it's pretty flat-footed, okay? So that's up to you if you want to get that nuance. Okay, last time, kaholo right and left. Here we go, kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left, kaholo to the right, and kaholo, very good. Okay, so that's a simple step. We use it in almost every hula, and that's the one you're going to use the most in this choreography. The next thing that you're going to need to know is still kaholo, but moving imua and ihope. So moving forward or towards the camera or the computer, whatever you're watching, iPad, TV, forward and then back. So what that's going to look like is your right foot is going to go forward right away. So it's going to go like this, kaholo to the right. You cannot see that at all. Kaholo back to the left. Let's go back to the Vavai cam so you can really see this. Ready, set, kaholo, imua, right, together, right, tap. Oh, I guess it's not really together, huh? It goes past it. Left, pass, right, left, tap. So it's a little bit different. Right, left, right, Tap, left, right, left, tap. You can even take this at an angle. So let's go forward at an angle now. Ready, go. Right, left, right, tap, left, right, left. So it's not actually together when you take it forward and back. Okay, so that's the kaholo going imua and ihope. Next up, we have what is called the kao. The ka'o is just going to be a sway. And the tricky thing about this song is there's one part, instead of a four beat measure, there's only two beats. Those musicians out there, you're probably thinking, ugh, I hate it when that happens. But it actually has a nice swing to it. It's like you think you're going this way and then er, change directions, okay? So for this one, we're going to practice the ka'o in back and forth ka'o. But just know in your mind, when we get it in the first verse, you're only going to get one one sway, okay? So hands on your waist, feet slightly apart, toes pointed forward, and bend down so that your weight is still in the heels of your feet, but evenly spread throughout the entire foot, okay? I'm gonna lift my skirt just a little so you can see how flat it is. Ka'o, right and left, here we go. Push right and left, still flat. Right and left, ka'o to the right, and left and right, and left, ka'o right, ka'o left. You could lift the heels if that is the style that you were taught. You know, you would pedal. I'm gonna turn this way so you can see my heels lifting. If that's the style that you were taught, you go ahead, you do you, right? This is Pride Month, you do you. Whatever you do, do that. Unless it's wrong, then don't do that. Okay, but we do nice and flat. Okay, right, it's actually easier for me, so I don't know how to do all that other stuff. Okay, that's your ka'o, very good. The next step that we're going to do is related in a way because it's called o. So it's not just ka'o, but it's just the o part. And the o is a side-facing hip thrust. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn out our left foot straight to the side. Then turn your body. Yep, now your right foot is gonna cross in front. Again, very flat. Then shift the weight back on the left foot and turn to the other side. Now your left foot is gonna cross forward, back, shift the weight, right foot. Forward, back. Don't forget to thrust that hip out to the side, push it out. Oh yeah, that mama print is just blah, blah, bam. Yup, and other side, ba -ba bam and to the side. Okay, so that's going to be your O step. And like the ka'o, we only get one in this choreography for the first verse. The last step that we're going to need is called ka'velu holo. And I don't know if I have a slide for ka'velu holo, do I? Probably not. So ka'velu holo, we're just going to um, talk through it. Uh, ka'velu, actually, ka'velu is correct. There, there is something called ka'velu which goes forward and back. So it's gonna go here and back. But when we kavalu holo, we're actually gonna move it to the side. 
So the cavelu holo is going to move forward, move, back, move, forward, and together. Left foot goes forward and back, and forward and together. Right foot forward and back, and forward and together. Left foot forward and together, and forward and together. Tap. Okay? So back in front, back in front, and moving a little bit side to side with the cavalu holo. How's that? Good? Okay. So when we put all of the steps together, then we get a choreography. And um, this choreography from Maki Ailana, I can't even remember how long ago I did it, but I created it, I believe, for the Hawaii Youth Opera Chorus when I was teaching um, for them. I think that's who I did this choreography for, but I could be wrong. It could have been when I was with Auntie Le teaching um, for, for Halal. But anyways, it's kind of around that time, maybe in the mid to early 2000s, I would say. Two, 2000, 2005, in that kind of early time. Okay, so Maki Ailana, let's get into the hand motions now. The very first verse talks about that island, Maki Ailana. For that, you're going to bring your hands right by your um, hips, your hip bones, deep down in there underneath your hip hips. Your hip bones are there. Yeah. So that's where you're going to start. And you're going to start with your hands facing in towards you. Yep. And then you're going to circle them around. And then they're going to come to a little bit flat. So you see how that went? They're going to um, rotate so that the fingers go back. Palms are out. And then they're going to come to flat. So it, don't worry about being way out like this. It's going to go like this. And then it's going to push down the center. Push down. Okay, so it's making the roundness of the island and then the flatness of the island. Okay, so think about this being kaholo forward right and then kaholo back left. Think again. Ready, go. Kaholo forward right and kaholo back left. Okay, am I right? No, 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 scratch that. See, this is live. Make mistakes. I'm a human too. It's going to go kaholo to the right, kaholo to the left. So this is going to be forward and back. And then push down right after that. So the pushing down motion is very quick because it's going to be on one ka'o, one sway. So the feet work to start off with is going to be kaholo forward, right, Kaholo back, left, ka'o right. Weird, yeah? yeah? That's how it goes. Okay, so let's try just the feet. Ready, forward, here we go. Maki ailana kea. Then we get kaholo to the left, so don't worry about that. Okay, so we're going to make your island like this, going forward and going back, and then push down on the ka'o. Ready, set. Here we go. Maki ailana kea. How was that? You should end with your right foot. Um, weight on your right foot, and you're looking just over that right palm, kind of out at the angle. Okay, try one more time. Ready? Here we step. Right. Maki ailana kea. Yeah. Now, it's not kea like white, but ke aloha is the next thing coming up. So from right here, you're going to bring your hands into love motion. That's right. It's a love song. Ke aloha la. Open your hands front and then to the side. Okay. Let's try one more time. Just maki ailana, and then we're going to do just the hands. Ready, step forward on the right. Maki ailana. Ke aloha la. That's it. Now, when you do that all aloha la, it's just kaholo, side to side. So let's try adding that kaholo with the hands. Ready? And step first, and then go. Maki ailana ke aloha la. And open side. Aina. Okay, then we get to Aina. So 
just to clarify, aloha is going to be actually, ke aloha la is going to be three kaholos. One kaholo is coming up to cross. One kaholo is going just straight forward, fingers together. And then the third kaholo is going to be opening out. Okay? Now, I know somebody out there is going to ask, is it the right hand closer to your heart or the left hand? And for this one, it literally doesn't matter because your hands are just going to go out, out, and it takes forever long. For me, let's see. I'm doing, I am mirroring you. So if you're going to do it, what I'm doing in mirror, it's going to be your left hand that's closer to you and your right hand that's further away. Okay? Left hand closer, right hand further away, and then you're going to go back here and then open. But please know that I'm just not that kind of kumu that cares about those kinds of things. It's not that I don't care, but I think you should have your own flavor to it a little bit. Okay? I'm not that precise on purpose. I want it to look like you and not look like me. Okay, enough talking kumu. Maki, ready, forward, step, right. Maki, ailana, ke aloha. And then you're going to turn toward the side. Notice my head turn, my body turn. Everything started to turn towards this side because we're going to get that O step, that hip thrusting step. Yeah. So you're leading to this way because Aina, you're just going to drop your hands very subtly right about hip level. And your Aina is just going to be a place motion like this. Your feet, left foot is going to turn out to the side. Right foot is going to bring you here. So that your hands go, they're right here in front of you. Yep. And your right foot is going to go forward. Aina. And then when you bring your hands, uh, when you bring your foot across, your right foot comes across, your, your left hand is going to join it. Okay. So it's going to go, Aina. Hands go here. Okay. Let's see if we can add that together from all the way from Maki Island. Okay, remember, you're going to step first before I sing Maki. Ready, and step first, go. Maki Island, he aloha la. Leading to the left. Aina ika ehu. Yeah. Your weight should be on the right foot. Your hands are toward the right. And your left foot is ready to go. We're going to do that kavelu holo. I promise you I'd squeeze in a kavelu holo. You're going to go forward and back on the left foot. Ready, go. Ehu o ke kai. That's the feet. Your hands, you just end it here. Your hands are going to go one, two, three, four. The ehu is a very fine mist. When you think about the waves that crash against the rocks and that little tiny um, dewy mist that is thrown up into the air after the sea, sea um, what is it, the waves hit the rocks, it's called the sea spray. And in Hawaiian, we call it ehu kai, ehu kai. So that ehu kai can be carried for very far distances if the wind is blowing just right and you can smell that seawater. So even though back in the swamp of Maki Island, it was probably a mix of um, fresh and salt, like a brackish water situation, they could smell that salty sea spray coming right off the ocean. Okay, so that's what we're talking about. You're going to see those waves going side to side and side to side. And your feet are going to do that kavelu holo back and forth. Okay, so remember, feet is, um, weight is on the right foot. Your left foot is free to kavelu holo, ready, set. Just the feet forward and back and forward and together. Then we get ready to vamp. You don't even know what is the vamp yet, but let's finish the verse. Okay. Ehu o ke kai. Ready, set, left foot goes. Ehu o ke kai. Guess what? Drop the right hand. Left hand is ready to go. Side and front. Side and maki island step. Maki ailana ke aloha la. Ope 
then turn to the side. Ai na i ka ehu, ehu o ke kai. Drop the right. Ba -da 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 One more time, maki. Here we go to the right. Maki ai la na he aloha la. Turning to the side. Ai na. Ika ehu, ehu o ke kai. Vamp, front, vamp, and front. That's it. That's it. Okay, we're going to try it with some music now. Got to make sure my speaker, my musicians are ready. Okay, you're doing so wonderfully. We're going to have lots of time to practice this verse over and over. Um... But let's let's give it a go. Yeah? Here we go. Ha oh four times. Hollow. Monkey. Monkey, I don't know. If you have questions, now is the time to type it in the chat. Luke, my husband Luke, is behind the camera. He's watching for those questions. If there's anything that's kind of unclear, um, let us know which part of the verse you're having trouble with. Let us know the step or any of the parts that we can help you with because we're live. And why not ask your questions now? Okay, We're going to try it again. This time, I want you to just focus on hands. Okay. If you want to do hands and feet together, that's fine. I'm only going to do hands because I really want you to see what those hands look like, okay? Kind of a long intro. I don't know why I did that. So you're going to start holding your skirt or hands down by your side, whatever is comfortable for you. This is a ka'o. This is a bam. Maki ailana. Here's that land of maki. The land that I love. The left hand. Aina is the land of the sea spray. Okay, one more time, just hands. Try to follow your head. Hands, don't let your head be stuck looking at the computer. Let me clarify where your head is going to look because I want you to be very intentional as we're learning this first verse to try to move your head appropriately. It's so easy, especially watching this live stream, to get in this stiff neck syndrome of looking at the camera or looking at the computer. I want you to try to work out those kinks in your neck. You've been looking at the computer too long, okay? So let's turn our heads and get a little bit of fluidity there. So for when you do Maki Ailana, you're going to look down at your right hand. And it's going to follow around. This is forward to the right. And then when you, sorry, forward to the right. And then you're going to follow the left hand here. Then on that one ka'o, look over the island. Follow that same right hand as it comes up to love. So it's going to come to your left shoulder. And you're looking over your left shoulder for love motion. Then looking straight. And then you're going to follow the left hand, which actually means your head is going to turn all the way to the back before you get to that aina. But you see how pretty that looks? You're going to follow the left hand to the back, and then when you, oh, then you look over and then you see your face, okay? So the aina, follow the right hand, and then you're going to look beyond the hands to the right, to the left, to the right, 
to the left and then your head is already there for the vamp following the hand of course to the front and then look to the right and to the front how was that good okay just try one time through just hands with head okay here we go monkey island now Very good. Okay, now press pause or save control S on the hands and we're gonna do just the feet. In fact, I'm gonna show you the Vavai cam so that you can focus on just the feet work for Maki Ailan. Okay, so you're gonna start with your right foot forward, hands would technically be all the way down, but I want you to be able to see Kao. Follow. Going Maki forward. Island, no? attention to one thing that I'm noticing as I'm dancing this choreography which I did years back maybe 15 years ago um, because the O when you do the O for Aina we're already so far over here on the um, left side of the stage that once you turn Aina here look I'm falling off of the stage you don't have to move very far for your Ehu Okekai even if you keep it right in place that's fine because the hands are going to give that feeling of movement. So if you're um, doing your kavalu holo and you're noticing you don't have space in your living room to move anymore to that side, that's totally fine because I'm doing the same thing. I'm just going forward and back and forward and back. So it's more of a kavalu than a kavalu holo because we're not really moving super duper far over to this direction. So I don't know if you noticed that you were doing that too, but I just caught myself and I thought I better tell them what I'm doing. So. Okay, any questions? Detail on the Kavalu Holo, absolutely. Okay, so like I said, this Kavalu Holo is going to be more front and back than moving very much to the side. But I do want you to understand the difference between those two. So let's go back to the Vavai Cam. And I want you to see the difference between those two. So, um, we're actually going to be doing it with the left foot for this choreography. But what I want to show you is both right and left. Okay, so um, bend your knees down. And a regular kavelu would just be forward on the right foot with your hip sh thrusting out to the right, then shift back on the left. And then the right foot would come back and together. Okay, if you watch this from the side, it kind of depends on the choreography. Sometimes you'll get a forward and a back and a forward and a back. And sometimes it'll be more like this, forward and together 
and forward and together. And it really totally depends on the choreography. Yeah. In this particular one, we are going with the um, left foot, this one here. And we're going to go forward and together, almost together, forward and together. And then you're going to kaholo to the right. Yeah. So that's what we're doing there. Um, so your kavelu holo one more time. Ready, set. Here we go. Forward and together and forward and together. Okay? So that's that. Is that camera different than normal? No, I'm just wondering if it's the correct side for them. Because I'm saying this is their left foot. Is that their left foot? Yes. You're absolutely correct. Sorry. Your left foot. Ready? Set. Here we go. Forward and together and forward and together. Now, what I was saying about the Kavalu Holo moving is that if you're really going to move it, you're going to go forward with the right, then watch my left foot. It's going to come in and then back in, forward in, back. And so I'm actually traveling along the line of this stage to the right and left. So that's going to be the difference of the Kavalu Holo. If I'm going to move it, then I'm moving the back foot to the side instead of just forward and back. That one move forward, side, back, side, forward, side, together. I hope that helps, uh, Azra. I'm not sure if that's answering the question, but um, what I was saying is that because the choreography that we've done takes us to this left side already, we're not going to have too much more room to go to the left before we fall off the stage, right? So I'm sure you're not working with unlimited space wherever you're watching this. So in order to avoid following off, falling off the stage, just take it forward and back, forward and back. Cool? Clear as mud. All right. Yay, I'm glad that helps. Okay, let's go all the way from the beginning. Uh -oh, four times. One, two, three. Follow the hands, turn the head. Maki Ailana. I know we're a little bit early. I would like to dance this two more times. So we're finishing up with three repetitions. But I want you to have that in your mind. We're just focusing on this first verse this week. Next week, we'll be back. We'll review verse one and add on a verse number two every week. Verse two, verse three, verse four, verse five. By the end of June, boom, power done. Okay? So here's our second run through of Maki Ailana. Good luck. This time I'll give you some hints. Third time, you're on your own.
will be our last time through, and I'm going to challenge you to do it without the lyrics. So we're going to get rid of the lyrics. We're just going to dance. I'm going to zip it and not talk. Just dance. Have fun. If you make a small mistake, don't worry, because the replay of this will be available immediately. As soon as we're done, you can come back and watch this part over and over and over. Okay? So here is James K.E.E.'s Maki Ailana. Thank you so much for spending this time with us. I know it's been a holiday week and everybody's just getting back to work. So thank you for remembering that it was Tuesday and that you had to come to Hula. I hope that you'll come back again. Not too late for new friends to join us. We've only done one verse, so I'm sure they can catch up. Feel free to bring friends with you next time. As always, so appreciate you folks being here with us and sharing in the Hula. Keep practicing. And until next time, ahui ho.